silver, you know, it's another commodity. I mean, I love silver. I've, I'm, Pan America is now the second largest primary silver mining company in the world, and I started it in 1994. I'm very proud of what we've done, and I love the metal. Uh, it's kind of, I call it the schizoid metal because it has a, it kind of has a, a beautiful side, uh, using it for money, it's precious metal like gold, and it has a dark side because it's actually an industrial metal like copper and zinc. It's used in thousands and thousands of industrial uh, products. So you really have to, to, to understand what's going to happen to silver, you have to understand the, the market for monetary metals like gold, silver's very much part of that, like has happened the last few years, that's what's really driven the silver market from uh, $5 to, you know, almost $50 an ounce. And you've also got to understand the industrial reality because that's half of its demand source. And if industrial demand collapses, silver prices are going to go down. If they both do well, well, silver is going to outperform gold. Don't forget uh, clean energy. When you're selling electricity, you sell these under long-term contracts. So you have an ability to predict for 30 years what your revenue base is going to be from these long-term contracts. That makes it very, very easy to secure debt financing. Your costs are very fixed, your revenue is fixed for a long term. It's the, almost the antithesis of the mining business. Because in the mining, you can't predict your revenue from day to day. You, you base your gold and silver revenue off of world prices. Geothermal and, and, and the electricity business, you're dealing with long term contracts. So it's clean, it's stable, it's long term. The returns aren't as great in the good times, but they're sustainable. There are no bad times in, in this business because these are long term returns. So I'm seeing at, at, Pan Amer at, uh, at Altera what I saw in Pan American when we were just getting going as, as a silver mining company. Today, Pan American is huge. It's got 8,000 employees in six countries. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's eight operating mines. It's making a, almost a billion dollars a year this year. That's where I want to get Altera in a few years. I love the startup and the growth business of, of taking companies from nothing into something sustainable and big. Do and you, that's what we're doing in Altera. Do you think that's realistic in a few years? Absolutely. We're already there. I mean, after only a few years, we've gone from nothing. We now have about $55 million in annual cash generation, $110 million in annual revenues. We have six plants running that are going to run forever. So it's already, we have a billion dollars in net assets. It's a decent sized company already, but we're just getting going. So clean energy is geothermal power. You're making electricity. So geothermal, wind, solar, and, and hydro. Those are the classic clean energy technologies. Uh, what we're doing is trying to make electricity uh, be generated without carbon emissions, without, without oil or, or coal or, uh, or uh, gas or uranium. So, uh, so you can do this almost anywhere, but you need, you need special things to make it work profitably. You need to have good power rates, you need to have cheap cost of production, and you need to have a decent return. It's a global business, so right now we've, in, in the last three years, we now operate six plants, three geothermal plants, one in Ice, two in Iceland, one in Nevada. We have two hydro plants in British Columbia and BC's biggest wind farm. So we've actually gone a long way. We're, we're a sustainable company now, but we have a ton of growth in front of us, and that's what I'm most excited about. All Bjork was fussing about, she's a xenophobe, she doesn't like foreigners, mm. and didn't want any foreign company or, or, or any, anybody to be involved in the Icelandic energy business. You know, some people are philosophically opposed to anybody coming into their country getting involved. A lot of Canadians don't like Americans coming into Canada, and vice versa. So that's all she was. It was a bunch of noise. It's all over. It's, it's, it was very tedious, but it's, uh, it's, it's done.